Okay, I'm so sorry you guys. Um, I got cut off and uh, I didn't even notice but um, um, well I glued this on and now I'm kind of ready to glue this on and then we're going to the sewing machine and let me just see uh, how I do this um, I could use these to hold it in place while I glue so great. So how do I do this the best? Well, where are my paper clips? We need it. Put a paper clip on there and a paper clip on the other side put these away again okay so so this is it I am going to glue this on and I'm not going to glue it all the way just um, on the edge I think because then I'm going to sew up here and that will hold it in place so um, okay Okay, now we're in business. What's going on? So, maybe just a little bit there. Okay, and then I'm placing the doily. Yep. Oops. Doilies are very delicate, aren't they? What a mess. This is really not what we need on camera, but I'm sure you guys experience the same. So, actually, we do need to let this dry before we can sew, because otherwise we have a mess on the sewing machine as well. But, I'm going to take you, bring you to the sewing machine and then I'm sh showing you how I'm going to sew the pages together so stay tuned be right back hello you guys I hope you um, can see everything here so I moved I moved to my sewing machine remember I told you I'm going to stitch all the way around on this one so that's what we are going to do. And just for the fun, I think we're going to zigzag this one. Um, so I'm just I'm going 
to move this right here. Okay, here we go, people. So there you have it, there's your page, all stitched. So next, next up is the double-sided design paper that we're going to stitch here and here. And here I'm only going to use um, a straight seam or uh, sewing line. Uh, I don't know what's it called. And the other side, the bottom. That's it. And then we have this. It's not completely dry, but I think um, I think I can stitch it. So that's what I'm going to do. And because this is quite a little bit shorter, then I'm going to stitch on this side. And on the bottom, so that we have a pocket here, remember? So, and then we can assemble it. Let me just take off these. Uh, we're going to do this and this. And then we have the front. And so we can sew it together and embellish later. So. in the machine and then we're sewing down the middle, the fold. So that's it you guys. I'm taking you back to the crafting table and then I'll show you. Hold on. Okay, so we're back on the crafting table and now the embellishing can begin. These are our pages. <clears throat> so uh, first thing I want to do is to cover up 
this gray inside and I found this and I think that'll be cute just behind that window so I'm going to trim this and glue this down <coughs> See how this is going to match inside of this beautiful yes. isn't that cute? So <clears throat> let's glue this down. Put a little bit of glue on. Just slide it in. Nah, that's exactly what it shouldn't be doing. So <coughs> And then I need something for the front, like this. On this one I have one, two layers and then some embellishment. This is a button from another uh, ephemera vintage garden um, printable. It's called uh, Steamtown Spring. And the hand with the bird is also from that. And the background paper with this teal and yellow is from that. Um, paper, printable. <clears throat> and let me just show you um, some of the papers. You see this? I cut out the hand. Some of the embellishments inside the journal is taken from there. And these are the buttons, the roses. See, I printed them in different sizes, so multiple purposes. Uh, I think that was it. And now that we're at it, I also used some of these note to self. That was a freebie from Ephemeris Vintage Garden. <clears throat> See, note to self. And then I used a couple of the green ones and the teal ones. So these tabs, these two tabs, um, is also is also from Ephemeris Vintage Garden and it was called Love is Chic and uh, along with <clears throat> some uh, journal kits there was also this page tabs and tags which I purchased and these this size this size is the tabs printed on A3 so jumbo jumbo tabs so far so good um what i had in mind for for this <coughs> was let me just see um i think this is the forget-me-not um, letter-sized printed on you know, half size, to be frank. So, so I'm thinking maybe I could cut out a background from here, and then maybe I could cut out this one and use as an embellishment 
in 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 this like this so to say so that's what we're going to do now find the right size and I'm just going to again eyeball it I have if I cut here I just mark that I can find that then I don't have to measure and then uh, here so that's where I'm going to cut Yes, I think that'll be neat. And then the top layer. So I'm thinking I'm going to cut out this part to put on top of that. And then I'm going to glue this on the front. So let's cut this out. <coughs> Okay. Okay. So let's see. You can turn this any way you want. I think this will be just fine. And then I'm going to put this on top. That's what we're going to do. So I think we're going to distress the edge here just a little bit. That I'm go going to glue. And then I like to put this on some sturdier. I have something here, something I coffee dyed. Then I'm going to glue it on there. Uh, whatever you're going to call it with this mirror uh, and I can show you uh, maybe where do I have them oops okay um, I used the lined paper and then I simply typed in some wise words um, that I thought was beautiful um, like this take time to stop and smell the roses um, you hold the key to your own happiness and I think that goes very well uh, with this mirror so that's what I'm going to use here <clears throat> um, so now I just need to find out how I'm going to present this. I'm just not. I'm not just going to glue it down like this. Um, so that I can think about in a few minutes. Now I'm going to cut this wine cork to make a little dimension. <clears throat> so this is 
recycled as well. Not much, just a little. And I have to be careful not to cut myself. I did that already when I was a child, so... Okay, here we have it. So I'm going to glue this on this. And so I'm going to place it here. and leave it to dry and now I need to find something that will present this very nicely maybe if I could find I do have some templates different kinds of templates and maybe this one could be the one. I think this will be perfect. Now I just need the paper on the background. Maybe I'll cut out two of these shapes um, so that it'll have a nice finish. So that's what I'm going to do now. So, this is the result. Um, I made this little label um, from a scrap like this. Then cut out a smaller one uh, on the coffee stained paper. Then I, I printed this on uh, some coffee stained lined paper, the text layer, and then I glued that onto another little scrap that I cut out and used my uh, punch uh, to you know, finish off the corners. So that'll just be nice. So glued this on. I think this is finished. I can always come back and add more later if I think that's necessary. But let's move on. So, this page, I'm thinking we need some of the tabs. Tags, not tabs. Tags, the forget-me-not tags. So, I have them in small, I have them in A3, and I have them in normal size. And I'm thinking we need some cute little ones to stick in there. So I'm going to cut some off and then stick in. I'll do that later. Um, and here I should I should put some uh, ephemera inside. And on this page I haven't decided yet what we're doing here. I'm going to make a small pocket for tab tags and cute little ephemera and stuff. Also, there's a pocket there. It'll be the same here. I'm going to find a scrap and then make a pocket. This doesn't need any further. Um, and then we have the middle pages. And if you see what I did on the middle pages here, I'm going to make something similar to here. I made these little forget-me-not tags and uh, the other side has uh, the coffee stained lined paper and this pocket uh, has a graph paper uh, tea stain on the back and then a design paper and then the note to self with this tab. So I'm going to make something similar um, on this one. So I came up with the jumbo uh, tags here and then let me show you before I show the result I actually cut down uh, 
one of these pages. I printed them to fit a normal letter sized page downsized it nine times so I have nine images that would actually normally fit on the whole page so that gives me these cute little sweet little pages and what I did is that I cut I cut one of the tab tags out and then I made it fit the page like this and then I want to glue this on top. So I sewed it on to some coffee stain paper, you know, this paper. I sewed it on to that and then I'm going to glue this on here. And then I'm going to make a pocket out of it. Um, glue here on the bottom and on this side so that I can put a tag in here and then for little tiny um, pull tabs I of course I have these also in 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 a smaller version that I cut out now but uh, this page is half a normal page so I even cut them down or printed them smaller and then they are just teeny tiny so I'm going to uh, put them on here and then of course use my hole punch um, and yeah I think that's going to be good for this one so let's do that That's okay for now. So I'm going to put glue down here and along this side. And then I'm going to place this here. And then we're allowing this to dry. Then we can make the other side. This is going to be kind of the same. And then, in a short time, oops, ooh, this is not good, okay, so there we have it, soon we're able to use the pockets here, so we're moving on. We're moving on, and what are we going to do? We're going to make some pockets, and I'm going to make the pockets, and then I'm going to show you afterwards. So, this video is going to be too long anyway. Oh, hold on.